What's going on today, guys? I uh, want to go ahead and do a video with you today. Jesus Christ. Um, go ahead and do a build that I haven't done on camera before. One of my favorite builds on one of my favorite Addies. Um, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial for a micro coil uh, with a cotton wick on a K Fun, K Fun Light, Russian. It's pretty much all the same. Um, so I want to go ahead and do that for you today. Go ahead and grab your KFUN and let's get this started. Uh, so a few tools that you're going to need. Um, I'm just going to cover everything in this video today. So if you're microcoiling or doing cotton wick for the first time, you're not going to have to watch two different videos to figure out how to do this. Um, so hopefully that makes it easier for everyone. Uh, for those of you who know how to do the microcoil and just uh, trying to figure out how to do it on the KFUN, you can skip past the part where I'm going to do the microcoil. Um, so, fuel tools that you're going to need, drill bit of your choice, just keep in mind that the bigger the drill bit, the more resistance you're going to have. Um, obviously your canthal, I'm going to be using 28 gauge, um, some cutters, nail clippers, anything like that works, screwdriver, um, tweezers or a pair of needle nose pliers, as well as a torch, and your cotton wick and of course your KFUN. Alright, so that's what I want to go ahead and do for you today. And let's go ahead and we'll just get started. Alright, let's see here. Vapor's desk is never organized, ever. Um, so go ahead and uh, just break down your KFUN, uh, get that ready to go. And what I will start doing here so I'm just going to go ahead and get the canth already. Um, I'm going to be running one thing I've I'm going to be running this on my Proveri, but one thing I've noticed is K funds on sub ohm. I'm not a fan. Uh, they get really hot, and the flavor just does not taste good. So I usually shoot for right around one and a half ohms, um, regardless of whether I'm running on a mechanical or not. Um, that's what I'm usually shooting for on a KFUN. And like I said, the, the reason is just because uh, it's just once it gets sub ohm, uh, it gets way too hot and it's not even, you won't even like the vapor in my opinion. Um, also you can very easily in the KFUNs, the Russians, to actually melt your insulators. So that's one thing you want to uh, be aware, wary of as well. Um, so go ahead, take your KFUN, just got to uh, I don't know, eight inches or so of it here. And we're just going to go ahead and torch it. You don't need to get it super hot, just basically till it's glowing red and then just keep moving on. You don't want, you want to make sure that it's malleable, but you don't want it you don't want it to be super brittle to the point where it breaks. Alright. Let that cool off for a sec. Um, it gets hot. So give that a sec to cool off. And go ahead and easiest way that I found to do this is to just do it with a drill bit. Um, I, I know there are some crafty little jigs out there that people are making that make coiling supposedly a lot easier, but once you kind of get the technique down on a drill bit, it's it's super easy anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. Give yourself about two inches or so of a lead. That's this piece right here. And just basically kind of hold that there and then wrap the canthal under the drill bit and just keep everything in line and tight. It's not perfectly tight, that's okay. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I'm going to do 8. That should put me right around 1.5 ohms, give or take, give or take about 0.1 ohms. Um, go ahead and cut your lead off. I like to... Careful there, I know that your can ball does not go flying. So this right here is what you should be left with. All right, you can see we got our eight wraps there. And so what we're going to go ahead and do at this point, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it between my needle nose pliers and just kind of pinch it gently. Um, you don't want to pinch it, pinch it super hard, um, just because if you do, you can overlap your coils and uh, you'll have to start all over again. And that's never fun. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and really don't want to put a flame down towards my desk, so we're going to do it this way. Just get that coil red hot. about 10 seconds or so and then leave it in the um, leave it in the pliers for a second and let that cool if you let it go too soon before it's cooled um, it will actually just expand back out and you'll just have to redo it uh, basically before you let it go you just want to make sure it's cool to the touch And then what I go ahead and do here, uh, if I can get this camera to focus, basically is while I'm still holding it, I'll just pull these uh, ends down here. So you want to make sure that you come out with the proper amount of wraps on this top part of the coil here because your bottom uh, will have one one less wrap. Um, so once you've got that done, go ahead, I'm going to bring you guys back down here. Make sure you can see this. You got your K-Fun Addy and the K-Fun Base rather. What you're going to do Get you is go ahead and mount one of your leads and you basically want the coil to be pretty much center over this air hole here um, so that's going to be that will help it perform best uh, if the coil is getting cooled right over right over that that air hole so basically I bring it around the outside here and just bring it back around make sure that the wire is in fact under there when you go to secure it down sometimes they like to sneak out Once you got it there, just go ahead. Once you know it's it's where it's supposed to be, and just kind of hold your coil. Let me get this. I'll hold your coil while you secure it down, just like that. And then kind of move that guy out of the way there. You're going to do the exact same thing with your other lead. Hold your coil so it doesn't separate as you pull this to the side. And oops. Again, as you tighten these leads, your coil will want to basically pull apart. Um, so it, once you go to tighten them, 
uh, for like the, the final time and make sure they're absolutely secure, it kind of makes it easier to um, hold it with your, your uh, pair of pliers. Now one important thing to note here, and I figured this out when I caused my Addy to short out, um, but you want, let's see, you want your coil up off the base there. You don't want your coil sitting on the base. You want it to be up off. Um, if it is touching that base, that air hole, your Addy will short out and it's not going to work. Um, on a basically on a like something like a Proveri, which is what I'm gonna use, uh, nothing will happen. I'll just give you an E1. But on a mechanical mod, it'll heat the hell out of your mod, and your batteries will heat up, and it just won't be a fun time. Um, so one thing to note there. All right. So once you have once you have everything done here, and you got your coil in place, um, just go ahead and put it on your mod. and fire it. You just want to make sure that you have a nice even glow there. If you notice that you have any gaps, what you can do, uh, any gaps in these coils, what you can do is take the mod, heat it up, and then use your pliers to push that together. And then again, hold it till it's cool, just like you did the first time. But ultimately, there really shouldn't be too many gaps. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and check my resistance here. 1.5 on the dot. Perfect. I've heard some people saying that when you're building Addies, like, this hasn't been a common thing, but when you're building Addies, don't worry about checking your resistance. Please do. Um, there's already enough bad press on vaping as it is, um, and we don't need any more by people blowing themselves up by not being careful. So do check your resistance. Do make sure you are using batteries with proper amp limits for the Addy that you're going to be running, or the coil, rather. All right, so now that we got that done, um, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten my leads one more time here, just to make sure nothing came loose. And then what I do from here is I just twist them off. Just like that. And then you have your perfect coil. And this got a little bit gappy when I. Gappy? Is that a word? It got a little bit gappy when I uh, tighten those leads again. So, this is again where you can just go ahead, take your pliers, uh, heat up that coil, and push those coils together. And then you do want to let it, uh, again, um, basically cool till it's cool to the touch or else they'll just expand back up. So, get that done here. There we go. That looks better. Make sure your Addy hasn't shifted, make sure the coil hasn't shifted, and um, come up off the base or uh, or sat down onto the, the base, the, the air hole, or anything like that. So um, just go ahead and take some of your cotton here. I like to pull just kind of right off, right off the side here. And just kind of uh, get myself a long piece and then basically just start rolling it. And you can roll it basically just based on the size of your coil. Um, so you kind of have to, to play with it a little bit. Uh, but once you get that roll started, just go ahead and pull that through, just like so. 
And what I like to do is once I have done, pulled that through, let's see. You want to find a point where one thing I'm noticing is this little flimsy here that should probably be okay though since it's just on the edge. You want to make sure it's secure in here but not so much that it you know pulls your coils apart or anything like that. Um, so once you do that I'm just gonna go ahead and clip a little bit off here make this easier to work with. What I do is I pull these up and I take my uh, chimney base here and I just fit that right over right over that and then cotton is cotton is one of those things where less is more um, so you don't need a whole bunch so what I do once I do that is I just clip these right at the top careful not to pull the cotton out all right next thing go ahead and get your juice Today I will be vaping some Blue Pop Shock from G2, one of my new favorites. And just get a little bit of juice in your syringe. And what you're going to do is just go ahead and kind of coat this cotton with the juice. Once the cotton is saturated, you're just going to take your needle and push push the cotton down onto the sides. Um, if you use too much cotton on those sides, the thing is, is if you use too much cotton on those sides, um, you can actually uh, block off your airflow, which is another thing I like about cotton over silica and a K-Fun is the airflow is a lot better so um, if you've used silica before on a K-Fun and this you're using cotton for the first time I think you will be thoroughly impressed alright so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is just attach the top of the chimney here and we're going to take a bit uh, the chimney works as a nice little drip tip Let's see here. I think there was some water in my syringe. So let's try this again. There we go. Alright, so like I said, this chimney works as a nice little drip tip. Um, basically, make sure that before you throw your entire K-Fun together, um, it's not burning or you don't have any hot spots or anything like that. a little bit of water in that cotton. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and swap this cotton. And we're just going to do a new thing here. The nice thing, the other nice thing about cotton is that when you want to switch a flavor, um, basically all you do is pull apart the K-Fun and pull out your cotton, put new cotton in, 
and you're good to go. You don't have to go through the process of rebuilding your entire Addy, which is really nice and another one of my favorite things about cotton. There's no water in this damn thing. Let me just go ahead and turn the voltage up a little bit. All right, let's try this one more time. That's better. All right, so it's vaping awesome. Um, once you, after you've vaped it a second, go ahead and wet your cotton again just one more time uh, before you put everything back together. That'll just make it so when you do put everything back together, there's no wicking time. Um, so go ahead and put your K-Fun back together here. We're just going to fill it up and see how it vapes. Usually when you take the puff off that chimney, that's a pretty good indication of how it's going to vape overall. So if you're getting a good vape out of that chimney test, um, it's, it's, it's going to do pretty well. In mind the K-Fun is roughly about four mils. Go ahead and fill this thing up. Now when you're filling your K-Fun, do be a little patient when you're filling it. Um, you definitely don't want to um, force the juice in there super fast through the syringe or you could flood it and flooded K funds are the worst. Anyone who has ever flooded their K fund knows exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so one and a half ohm coil got up my Proberry 4.1 volts. Let's go and see how it vapes. awesome vape. Um, so like I said uh, earlier in the video, really anything below about one and a half ohms gets pretty warm and almost, like I said, unenjoyable. It doesn't necessarily burn it. It's just really, in my opinion, too warm of a vape. But everyone's different, so you may have a difference of opinion on that. And if you like it warmer, then, you know, go a little bit, oh, oh, uh, excuse me, lower on your ohms. Just, I really can't stress enough, don't do sub ohm. You'll melt your insulators. You'll have a hard time finding them. They're not easy to find. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and vape on this one more time, and we'll wrap this video up. So just awesome flavor out of that, awesome vapor production. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be doing another one soon. Um, not sure what I'm going to do next, but it's Thanksgiving. Or Chris, Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving Eve, is that a term? I'm not sure. 
Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave any comments, questions, uh, or anything in the comments section. I'll get back with you and help answer any questions I can on building. Have a happy holiday, guys.